Hello, my darling friends, and welcome to Yoga with Adrian. I'm Adrian, and this is Benji. And today we have a beautiful heart opening yoga practice. I'm also calling this Rose Yoga. So hop into something comfy and let's get started. my darling friends welcome let's begin in a nice comfortable seat come on down to the ground sit up nice and tall and we'll begin today's practice with the hands lovingly pressing together right in the center of your chest the center of your being your heart Anjali Mudra Thank you so much for committing to this practice, for sharing your valuable time and energy, your story with Benji and I and with all the beautiful people and pets all around the world. Whenever thoughts or distractions come up throughout your practice, just take this time for yourself, acknowledge them. You don't have to ignore anything and do your best to stay present with whatever's going on in your body, in your mind, whatever you've got going on in your mind, as well as in your heart today. Let's just ride the wave together. See what happens. As you're ready, we're gonna bring a little bit of energy to the arms here by sending the elbows out left to right. Once you feel like you have the shape, Tuck your chin and send your gaze towards your hands or if you're comfortable, go ahead and close your eyes and just allow the sound of my voice to guide you. We'll take a deep breath in here together. Ready, big inhale, press the palms together. Active arms as you breathe in. And then as you breathe out, slowly bring the elbows together, lift your chin and send your gaze or your third eye up towards the sky. Good, inhale, press the palms together actively. You might even feel a little shake, a little prana, a little stimulation. Hey yo. And then exhale, bring the elbows together, lift your chin, lift your heart. Careful not to crunch the back of the neck. Okay, inhale, press the palms together, elbows left to right. Start to bring your shoulder blades together. Inhale, press the elbows in towards each other, fingers get soft. And one more time, inhale, elbows left to right. And exhale, reel it in. Good, then allow your hands to just soften, soften, let it just be natural and easy here, Anjali Mudra at the heart. And we're gonna bow the head to the hands in this prayer mudra. And there's a little invitation here to just set an intention or bring a focus to someone or something. Maybe you dedicate this practice to someone who could use a little extra good juju or just someone you love. Maybe there's something you'd like to clearly state here, an intention, a word. And then as my mom always says, and used to frequently say to me as a young person, once you have that intention, or even if it's just a feeling, I choose to be the best version of myself, mom says, act as if it were already so. And then let's rock and roll. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, go ahead and release the palms to the knees. We're gonna take a deep breath in and begin to drop the shoulders down as you lift your chest up towards the sky. So big heart opener here. Heart opener doesn't always mean, you know, like big full wheel or, you know, big resurrection up to the clouds. Like just allow your heart to lift. And it's a, a feeling, a connection, it's the intention behind the move, movement or the gesture. 
that really makes it about heart for me. So feel the belly get long here. Think of that long puppy belly like Benji's belly here. Keep drawing your shoulder blades together. Take one more inhale. And then, yep, you guessed it. Exhale, chin to chest, rounding through. Think cat pose, spinal flexion. Stay here for a couple breaths. Feel the breath really stretch the upper back body. And this is that Mr. Burns shape. This is really a true embrace, embracing of the shoulders kind of coming forward. You're doing great. Soften the skin of the forehead. All right, now let's flow with that nice and easy. Inhale to lift the heart. Drop a little weight in your elbows here and then exhale to round through chin to chest. And since you know our structure now, go ahead and soften your gaze again or close your eyes so you can really feel it out. Inhaling to lift and exhaling to round. Benji's so cute, he's using me as a footstool here, putting his feet on me. And start to sync up with a deeper breath, best you can here, right away. Allowing the breath, not just our physical practice day, but allowing the breath to blossom with each gesture. All right, and wherever you are, go ahead and wrap it up, finish it up. And then bring the head over the heart. Take a deep breath in as you squeeze the shoulders up to the earlobes, then take the elbows back and down as you breathe out. Twice more, inhale, squeeze and lift, 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 lift. And then exhale, shoulder blades draw together. Imagine you're pinching a pencil between your two shoulder blades. Okay, one more time, squeeze and lift as you breathe in. And then exhale, dropping the elbows, dropping the shoulders, awesome. Take a minute or two here to check in with the head, the neck. Don't forget the front of the neck to the throat. So just some soft, easy movement. If you need a structure, you can draw small circles with the nose one way and then the other. Otherwise, get free. Improvise. Did you notice the sound effects, if there are any? Excellent. Now we're gonna take the fingertips forward here, take a deep breath in, and then on an exhale, cross the right arm over the left, and you're just gonna send your fingertips in towards the center of your back. Keep your elbows lifted. Lengthen through the side body here, giving yourself a beautiful, loving embrace. Sit up nice and tall, beautiful and radiant throughout the spine. Excellent, and then slowly release, send the fingertips forward, inhale in, exhale, left arm over the right, same thing. Try not to collapse here, stay lifted. Breathe in, elbows lift, 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 breathe out, shoulders ground, ground, ground. Close your eyes for a beat here, feel your own hug, your own embrace, telling your brain, I'm safe, I'm here, I'm doing my yoga practice, life is good, I'm ready. Tend to the soil so that my flowers can grow, whatever it is. Okay, take one more breath and then exhale to release. Awesome work. We're gonna come to all fours now and then you're gonna make your way to downward dog, but take your time. There's no rush. Enjoy the ride. So we already did our spinal flexion. So we're gonna plant the palms with consciousness and when you're ready, curl the toes under. Take a deep breath in. Elbow creases shining forward. Keep the knees bent as you slowly peel the tailbone up towards the sky. Then pedal it out. Listen to your heart here. Big heart opener here as you use your breath to slowly gain length in the backs of the legs as you breathe in and then use your breath to really melt the heart towards the thighs as you breathe out. And you don't always have to accept, you know, do my cues. I'm certainly not here to dictate, just to guide. So 
maybe it's not exactly what I'm saying, but you use that as an invitation to shine a little flashlight around and see what's up and respond to whatever it is you find. Okie doke, baby steps to the elevator, baby steps to the top of the mat, take your time. We'll meet in forward fold at the top of your mat. Yogi's choice, nice conscious footing, feet hip width apart or flush together. You just, you just, you gotta decide. Okay. Bend your knees here, let the weight of your head gently fall down, crown towards the floor. Then if you like here, you can lift the toes, ground through all four corners of the feet. Find your foundation and then grab opposite elbow with opposite hand and we're gonna just take a couple gentle little sways here. Nice and easy. Find your breath. Remember your intention. Try to give your thinking mind a break here in this beautiful heart opening practice. Allow your body intelligence or even your emotional intelligence today with the heart to have the head seat at the table. Sweet, release the fingertips, bend your knees even more, start to wake up through your beautiful muscular legs. <laughs> and then nice and slow, listen to the sound of your breath as you tuck your chin and slowly roll up to standing. And as you rise up right away, ground down through the feet, and then continue that energy from the soles of the feet all the way up through the shins, the kneecaps, the quads. Start to lift up from the pelvic floor and find this beautiful long spine as you lift your heart all the way up. And allow this energy in your heart space, this opening, to affect the shoulders. So for me, if I'm lifting the heart, I'm kind of coming out of that collapse. It very naturally kind of invites my arms to open my shoulders to kind of come into socket. So this is a great example of kind of moving with the feeling. So it's good to know the alignment, but then keep asking yourself, where is it coming from? Because sometimes the alignment that's right in my body is completely wrong, perhaps for your body. So stay present. This is a great practice to just kind of help us remember those beautiful in-depth um, lessons that our practice, regular practice, teaches us. To summarize, you're in charge, you know best, and respect your body by leading with your heart. Okay, let's go. Inhale, reach for the sky. Big stretch requires big breath. Exhale, grab your left wrist with your right arm, take it up and over. Again, really up and over, not just straight over. Feel that lift and then slowly come back to center. Keep breathing here as you take the opposite wrist. Think up and over. Excellent, then inhale, release that, come back to center. And exhale, palms come together, Anjali Mudra again. And we're gonna slice it right down the middle here as you bend your knees and take it all the way down. Awesome. Inhale, halfway lift, move nice and slow here in this first one. Shoulder blades draw together, heart nice and open. Exhale, soften and fold. Back up the way you came. Inhale, palms come together, we reach for the sky. And exhale, hands to heart. Try to get your center right underneath you, whatever that means to you. Okay, again, inhale, fingertips go down to come up. Big breath, big stretch. Exhale, grab your left wrist, take it over to the right. Dig into the heels, inhale, come back up to center, grab your right wrist, exhale, take it over to the left. Inhale, come up to center, palms come together, and exhale, slice it all the way down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. This time, take your fingertips out, palms down towards the earth, airplane arms. Draw your shoulder blades together, big breath in here as if you're looking into a pond, and then exhale to slowly release. Good, dig into the heels, inhale, palms come together, slide all the way back up, reaching fingertips towards the sky. Exhale, hands to heart. Take a deep breath in here, inhale. Exhale to relax your shoulders, drop in. 
Good, inhale, reach for the sky, spread the fingertips. This time, exhale over to the right. You can grab the wrist or you can just keep the fingertips lifted. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, over to the left. Inhale to center. Exhale, palms kiss together and we slice it right down. Forward fold. Inhale, airplane arms. Send the crown of your head forward, look out. And then exhale, fold it all the way down. All right, adding on, plant the palms here. We're gonna step the right foot back and then step the left foot back. Sorry, Benji, watch out, bud. Share the space. <laughs> right away, you know your body best. So if you need to lower the knees here, please do, but you wanna keep a nice long line from the crown to the tail. So no collapsing. Great, wherever you are, we're here for three, two, everyone lower with love onto the belly. So nice and slow. Nice conscious movement. Then drag your hands in line with your rib cage when you get down here. Press firmly into the pubic bone, tops of the feet grounding down into the earth. Squeeze your elbows into your side body and then inhale, look forward as you rise up, baby cobra. Pause here, breathe as we strengthen the back body. Breathing mindfully, foundation strong. No tension in the neck. Soften through the face. Good, and then slowly release. Forehead kisses the mat. We'll curl the toes under. We'll lift the kneecaps. Here we go, inhale in. Exhale, press up to plank. Now lift your figurative heart space up between your shoulder blades here. Strong and steady, building strength. We're here for three. Breathe deep, two, nice long neck. And on the one, send your hip points up and back, downward facing dog. Now take some time here. Pedal it out, melt your heart back. Notice what's coming up in your mind or even in your body. Really stay present with whatever sensation is coming your way and then use the breath to keep going. All right, establish a firm connection, hand to earth, fingertips clawing into the mat as you anchor the left heel down to the ground. Feel that generous stretch in your left Achilles, calf, back of the left hamstring. And then from there, from that kind of tripod, that's where we'll inhale, kick the right foot out. Imagine you're sliding it against an imaginary wall. Lift up to three-legged dog. Then bend your right knee. Take your right toes over towards the left side of your mat and begin to stack right hip over the left as you take your heart and spiral it, looking underneath your right arm, the armpit chest. All right, stick with your foundation. Here we go, big inhale to spiral it back to three-legged dog. Straighten your right leg. And then exhale to keep it going all the way through. Step it all the way up into a nice low lunge. Gently lower your back knee to the earth. Yogi's choice, you can keep those toes curled under or if it feels more rooted, just more grounded to bring the top of the foot to the earth, do that. Inhale in, exhale, squeeze the inner thighs together and slowly rise up, so strong base here as you bring the palms together at your heart. Now, check it out. If this is too crazy for you today, keep the hands on the waistline. It's just gonna give you a little better balance with your elbows out left to right. So I have a strong base here. I'm pulling my right hip crease back. Here we go, inhale, long puppy belly again. Think Benji's belly as you slowly, so don't force it, don't push it, be, be sweet. Lift your heart up towards the sky. Great, stay here or hands on waistline if you need it, squeezing the inner thighs in for stability. Or on an inhale, we're gonna send the elbows out, cactus arms or I'm from Texas, so football goal post arms. Front knees not going beyond that front ankle here. And we're gonna open the palms super wide. Inhale in, exhale, close them together. Palms kiss. Inhale to blossom, o open your heart. Exhale, palms kiss. One more time, inhale, you got this. Strong legs, squeeze your thighs to the midline, lift your chest up towards the sky. And then exhale, palms come together and we'll slice it all the way right back down. Left hand to the earth, just a nice easy twist here. Inhale, right fingertips to the sky, nice and easy. Good, and then slowly bring it back. 
Fingertips now come to the mat. Let's reverse it. Take a little weight out of that left hip by pulling the right hip crease back. Breathe deep. Keep this right toes active best you can. Think about flexing your right foot towards your face, towards your third eye. Gorgeous. Now here we go. Dig into your right heel. Roll all the way through. We're going to plant the palms here. Lift the back knee up and step it back. Plank pose or half plank. Strong and steady. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, squeeze the elbows into the side body as you slowly lower down with control. And if you're new to the practice, trust me, belly flops are totally welcome. You gotta start somewhere, right? Be kind, have fun. Inhale, cobra. This time maybe we get a little bit higher, maybe not. So holding on to that integrity. And then releasing, forehead kisses the mat, good. Curl the toes under, lift the kneecaps, tone your quads. So from your center, whatever that means to you, inhale in and then exhale, navel draws up to the spine and that's what lifts us up. Again, lift your heart space up between your shoulder blades. Benji woke up, yay. Inhale in here, we're here for three, two, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, lots of love in here. Exhale, lots of love out. Reconnect with your foundation, strong and steady. And when you're ready, anchor the right heel down. Claw through the fingertips. And nice and slow, we'll slide the left foot as if it were sliding up an imaginary wall all the way up. So slow and with control. Beautiful. Then bend your left knee. Take your, right, your left toes over towards the right side of your mat. And allow your heart to spiral open. You can look underneath your left armpit chest, right heel still anchoring down, pressing into both palms evenly. Good, then draw your center in, slowly spiral it back. Inhale, send your left foot out long. Three-legged dog, exhale, slowly reel it in. Beautiful controlled movement here. Nice work. Gently lower the right knee to the earth. Find your footing back there, whatever feels good. Experiment. Get to know your body through your practice. Simply copying me or copying a teacher is not gonna do it. Or it's gonna do something. But it's not gonna do it. The magic, the union, you know, the yoga. Okay, squeeze your inner thighs together, everybody. Inhale in from that place of connection, that strong base, rise up. You're gonna feel strong, even if you feel like you have a lot of strength to build. If you start to energetically work, you're gonna be more inspired to show up on your mat. Because you'll feel supported. And you'll start to notice all your amazing potential to blossom, just like that of a beautiful rose. Okay, hands Anjali Mudra here again. If we wanna to come to the waistline, again, we can here. It just gives you a little more stability. It's a great place to start. Breathing deep, and don't be afraid to, to back pedal a little bit, you know? Like sometimes we get so far in all these poses, it's okay to come back. Come back to basics, come back, find something um, new. Go a little deeper and make it more sustainable and more enjoyable. Okay, pull the left hip crease back if you're not already. Hopefully by now we're starting to really feel that connection of the inner thighs hugging in towards the midline which is gonna inspire this. Here we go, big lift all the way up in the heart. So send it way beyond your physical body. Send that heart energy, let it radiate way up and out. And then inhale to open the elbows, open the palms, lift your chest up high. And exhale to slowly hold onto your balance as you bring them together. Move nice and slow here. Inhale, open the chest. Elbows go wide and exhale, palms kiss. Bring the elbows together. One time, one more time, inhale. And exhale. Bring it together, slow and with control from center. Bring it back down, nice easy slice. Right hand to the earth, nice and easy. Inhale, left fingertips reach up towards the sky, big twist, so bring on a big old breath. Good, and then reeling it down nice and easy. Send the hips back. 
can keep the back foot exactly where it is. Allow your left foot, however, to peel up. Again, flexing those toes actively towards your face. So bend the knee as generously as you need to. I honestly really encourage a good, generous bend here. And then here we go, digging into that left heel, slowly rolling through. Awesome work, plant the palms. We'll lift the back knee, we'll step it back, plank pose. Inhale to shift forward, exhale belly to cobra, or now maybe you take a chaturanga to an upward facing dog or a straight to upward facing dog. Allow your heart to lift as you breathe in. And then on your exhale, make your way to downward facing dog. Awesome work. Anchor the left heel, inhale, lift the right leg up high. This time straight into it, exhale, knee to nose, round through, step it up. Back knee lowers. Find the, let the root of this posture really be in that back foot. Inhale, reach for the sky, both fingertips up high, lift your heart. Exhale, moving through that cactus arm pose. So you're gonna bend the elbows, squeeze the shoulder blades together, and then release the fingertips all the way back like airplane. Inhale in here, exhale, draw the shoulder blades together. Option here now to interlace the fingertips behind the tail, behind the back. If it doesn't really feel good in your body, then just keep the arms nice and wide. This is totally Kate Winslet at the top of the boat here. You've gotta bring an image here. Bring an open mind, an open heart. Lift your, the corners of your mouth just a bit. One more breath. Yes, and then slowly release everything. Come back to your nice low lunge. Good, left hand to the earth. This time, instead of a twist, we're gonna take the right fingertips all the way forward, up and back, and reach it towards the back edge of your mat. Stay here or option to lift the hips up high, grab your left toes, so you're gonna lift your left toes, and then nice and steady, maybe even turning the right toes out a bit if you like, you're gonna slowly begin to keep that front knee over the front ankle and lift your heart. So don't let that knee go too far ahead. Just check out where you are today, big breath in, lift the chest, side body long. And then slow in with control, just as you've been moving, we're gonna come out of it and come back to our nice low lunge. Great, pull the right hip crease back. We come into this runner stretch here, just for a breath, just to balance it out. Flex your right toes towards your face and then roll on through the right foot. Great, plant the palms, step it back. You can take it straight to down, downward dog here if you like or moving through a little vinyasa, using your inhale to find that lift, that open heart, nice and easy and then staying connected to the breath, we'll make our way to downward dog. Take your time. All right, second side. After this, we're gonna take it down. So stick with it, move with your breath. Anchor the right heel, inhale, lift the left leg up high, three-legged dog. Pressing into both palms evenly, here we go. Exhale, shift forward, knee to nose. Light up your core. Then step the left foot forward, lower the right knee to the earth. You have a nice strong base here. Once you feel like you've found it, inhale, reach the fingertips all the way up towards the sky. Crescent lunge, squeezing your thighs. If, in particular, if you're really flexible, lift up from your pelvic floor just a bit. Stay connected. And then here we go, big inhale to lift the heart. Long puppy belly, big exhale to slow and with control. Bend the elbows, ooh, right shoulder and then slowly coming through the cactus arms to your airplane arms. Strong legs, strong breath. Feel that little bit of tapas, that warmth forming around your neck and your forehead. And then option here to interlace the fingertips. If you do, I invite you to take the opposite bind, lifting your chest. Go in all in for love. Starting with yourself, totally a vulnerable shape here, particularly when you put your breath and your full awareness into it. When you connect. All right, take one more breath. And then use your exhale, so actively use your exhale to draw your navel in, release the arms slowly and come all the way back to your nice low lunge. Good work. Left fingertips reach forward. Up 
big circle and all the way back. You might just pause here. You might just open up through the chest here, left pec. Or in time, we might begin to bend that right knee, grab the left toes, and maybe opening the left hip a bit here, opening the left toes out if you need. Find that lift in the chest as you lean back, chin up, throat nice and open, breathing deep. Hips and heart connecting. Yes, and then with control, best you can, with control, we'll release, bring it all the way back through to your runner's stretch. Take your time, pull the left hip crease back. Oh, one more nice, awesome stretch before we bring it down low and close out this session. So keep breathing deep, go inward. Coming back through, awesome work. Plant the palms, last plank. So <clears throat> take it or leave it. If you don't want it, then you can do half plank or go straight to child's pose. But here we go, plank position, gaze straight down, breathe. All right, you're doing awesome. Once again, bring your figurative heart space, the center of your chest, bring it all the way up towards the sky as you press away from your yoga mat. Feel that hollow front body as you reach the heels back. We're building strength here, one breath at a time. You're doing awesome. Keep the neck nice and long and find your intention again, your focus, downward, inward, creating 100% full body experience here for three, for two, and on the one, let the knees kiss the earth. Yay, great work. Okay, you're gonna send the legs to one side, any side. We'll come up through to a nice, comfortable seat, send the legs out long. Excellent, just take a beat here, Dandasana. Thigh bones ground down, toes flex up towards the face, shoulder blades come together, we lift up through the spine. Notice how your planks can affect this pose, sitting up tall. And if you're struggling here, you're not alone. Remember, I've been practicing for years and I honestly think that asana is this shape, stick pose is much more challenging than an arm balance. Okay, send the fingertips forward. On an exhale, slowly lower down. You can keep the feet flexed or you can point the toes and you're just gonna come all the way to the earth, nice and slow. Fabulous, and when you do, go ahead and bend your knees, snuggle your shoulder blades underneath your heart space. Walk the heels up towards your hips. Palms come to the earth. <sighs> Find your breath again. And when you're ready, press the feet, press the palms into the earth and lift up from the tail, nice and slow. Hip points up towards the sky, shins forward. When you reach the top of your inhale, full capacity, exhale, slowly lower down, nice and easy. And twice more, inhale, lift it up. And exhale, slowly lower it down. And really let this be soft. That soft kind of almost feminine energy here that moon energy as you press into the palms, ground through the feet and slowly for our final round, lift it up, set the Bandhasana bridge pose. Now keep that squeezing into the midline that you had in your lunges here. And if you like, take the bind, drawing the shoulder blades a little closer together, lifting the hips up a little higher. Now lift your heart towards your chin then open your throat as you lift your chin up towards the sky. Maybe part the lips, maybe close the eyes. Breathe like you love yourself, inviting a willingness in to blossom in new ways, to open and radiate love. Stay here, strong, static hold. One more breath, you got it. And then with control, same as we've been doing, nice and slow and with control, release. Awesome. 
When the spine kisses the mat again, go ahead and bring the soles of your feet together. Let the knees open wide. Reclined cobbler's pose. <clears throat> Sukta Baddha Konasana. Take your hands to the tops of the thighs. Just gently pat them. Get, just get the hip creases a little bit of energy to soften here. And then bring your hands to your belly. Close your eyes. Back to your intention as you breathe in, fill the belly with air, feel your hands rise. And then on the exhale, yep, you guessed it, a gentle fall with the breath. So take a couple moments here with the rise and the fall of your own breath. Feeling the belly expand as you breathe in. And surrendering to gravity as you breathe out. And then slowly we'll begin to bring the knees together. You can use your hands, your fingers to help guide the thighs in. And nice and easy, move slow here, guys. Move slow, hug the knees into the chest. Last time, cactus arms. You're gonna bring the elbows to the earth. Inhale in, exhale, take your knees over to the right. Inhale, come into center. Exhale, take your knees over to the left. And slowly back to center. One more time, over to the right. Back to center, over to the left. And this time, bring your right, yeah, right elbow in towards your left elbow. You're gonna come into a fetal position. And just take a second here to rest your sweet, precious heart. Close your eyes. Notice how you feel. And then when you're ready, we'll begin to press the hands into sweet mama earth. This video is going live out on Mother's Day, so also thank you, Mama Earth. <laughs> Yoga works. I kind of just got emotional about this Mother Earth, so good stuff. And we'll finish by bringing the palms together. You're just going to create a little energy, a little friction. This is also something my mom used to always do and something she used to teach her students. So we're going to close with this nice, <clears throat> active, gesture of love, get a little heat going, go a little faster, and then bring your hands to your heart. Feel your hands on your chest, feel that warmth. Give thanks for this time that you've taken for yourself. You're awesome. Namaste reminds us that you're awesome and that I'm awesome and that our togetherness is awesome too. Let us know how you're feeling in the comment section down below. Share this with someone who you think might benefit and we'll see you next time. Namaste.